So this is the Virgin Beach Resort. Quite a nice place. It's got the Orchard Bar and Restaurant. A load of staff that are doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> very nice staff. Uh, the place is on low season right now, so it's not very busy. But we'll have a look around anyway. It's costing me 1,000 pesos a night and it included a wee breakfast and a couple of coffees which I really did appreciate. Now if you compare it to the place that I stayed last night at uh, how much was it? 1,650 you'll find that it's not as not as such a big enterprise as that, because they had seventy two or seventy nine rooms, something like that, and it was yeah really quite big. But this is just a wee place. I don't know how many rooms it's got. I'll have to ask. But I wouldn't say it was more than a dozen, uh, and some of them are taken up by. Uh, people staying here long term. Uh, but here's the swimming pool area doing here. I had a, a good swim yesterday afternoon and then this morning I was down here just as the sun was coming up and I was all by myself. There was four wee lassies yesterday. Uh, yeah, 16 year old or something uh, and I had a wee chat with them but they were just in here as as day visitors there's a big party area down there and there's a couple of more smaller gazebos there a slide and I'm on the bridge and across and a few more gazebos and then there's no beach, so I won't bother going all the way down. Uh, it's rocks. But there's a nice area down here for playing volleyball and... Uh, what's that? A salt course of some kind? Ah, kids swings and seesaws. And that bit looks like a... yeah it is, it's a assault course. There's another party area over there. And it's it's nice and open spacious with some coconut trees about the place. I like it. This is more my style than the one yesterday. Not just because of the price, because it's more uh, personal. Uh, I was speaking to an American guy that resides here and he was saying that uh, sometimes they've got about 150 in this pool uh, in the high season but I had a pool in Bulgaria that is about half maybe a third the size of this one and uh, I wouldn't allow more than 20 in at a time uh, and health and safety is about the same here as it is there. And over this side, there is a mini golf place. With different, there's a traditional hut there. Over there is a volcano. I don't know what that is, a bridge. Uh, the chocolate hills there and a church and a bunker boat and I think, well I wasn't getting over the other side but there's other half of this golf course is over here so now that I've see it's got a theme I may as well see what themes over here, ah there isn't one <laughs> or it could be a water theme 
I was just thinking there was waterfalls or something. Ah, uh, that's a fish. That's a guitar. The shape of it. And that's a palm tree over there. And we'll just count the rooms that should be the same on the other side, I think. There's two up front here. That being the restaurant on the right. So there's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's twenty, or at least a minimum of twenty. And we've got the place looking quite nice. The garden's well kept, and yeah, I like it. That's the kitchen over there. This is the car park. Uh, as you can see, my bike's uh, the only tourist one here. Uh, there's a volleyball court over there, and that's the main gate uh, way across there. Now the room. Uh, you'll have to excuse the state of my room because uh, well, I've been staying in it all night for one, and now I'm trying to dry stuff off and. Uh, charge up all my electronics so here we go we've got a party area here not very big but it's uh, enough and then you come in here and you've got a small I suppose you could make it into a kitchen area if you were going to stay here this is my bags just lying about uh, a fridge fan and an aircon and a television a bed that isn't very tidy as I see my fault not theirs and if I can find the light you have the toilet shower and sink uh, the shower was a bit hot and I found a problem uh, finding a way of getting some cold water in there. It was scalding hot like. Uh, so that's something for you girls if you're watching this. Uh, fix out the shower. But yeah, good value for money in here. And uh, I'd recommend it to anybody that's wanting a, a quiet getaway.